Hey, who's in the... Uh, uh, hey, hi. Did Mr. Brush start recording without me? Mr. Brush, come on. Hi, everybody. Welcome back to the art room. How are you today? We are going to do something a little bit fun today. I hope that you are excited. We're gonna go on a scavenger hunt. And not just any scavenger hunt, because hey, we're artists in the art room, right? We're gonna go on a color scavenger hunt. Do you know all of the colors of the color wheel? I bet you do. In the art room, I have a color wheel right up here on the wall. See it back there? There's my color wheel. So here is what you have to do today. You have to find things around your house that are yellow, red, and blue because those are the three most important colors. Those are the primary colors. And then I want you to find things that are orange, green, and purple. And we're gonna put them together in our own color wheel and then we get to take a picture of it. And then you're gonna send it to me. I'm so excited to see these. All right, me and Mr. Brush. Now, where did he go? Mr. Brush, Mr. Brush. Oh, whoa, there he is. He's gonna help me find my six colors. table. We're going to use the color wheel as a guide and we're going to arrange all of our items in the correct color wheel order. Do you think you can do that? Mm, I'm going to try mine and you try yours. All right friends, so here is our color wheel and as you can see there's lots of extra colors, these little dots on here. We don't really need to worry about those unless you happen to find um, a color that kind of goes in between. That's the only reason you would use those. I'm not worried about us learning those colors right now. All I want us to pay attention to is where yellow is, where blue is, and where red is. And then we're going to put the other colors in between them. So yellow, blue, and red are the primary colors and green, orange, and purple are the secondary colors. So this makes a triangle and these make a triangle. And how the color wheel works, it's actually kind of neat. Um, you cannot make these colors by mixing them. These, you just have to have them. They are the primary colors. They are the three colors that make every other color that you could ever want. And if you're stuck and you're not quite sure what colors to mix, that's where this handy dandy tool comes in. If you see, along the line between yellow and red sits orange. And that's because when you mix a little bit of red and a little bit of yellow, you get orange. Same thing with purple. It's in between red and blue because a little bit of red and a little bit of blue together makes purple. And then finally, green is made with a little bit of blue and a little bit of yellow. So that goes in between those colors. And that's how the color wheel works. So if you were painting a beautiful painting and you ran out of green, you wouldn't have to go to the store if you still had some blue and yellow. That's how that works. All right, so let's arrange our color wheel. So I'm gonna set this down here and we're gonna start with yellow here. So I'm gonna take all of my yellow things and 
put them together. Let's get these things out of the way. So here's yellow, this is yellow, this is yellow. And then let's find all of the red things. So there is my red, 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 red. And my final, that's kind of red, wouldn't you say? Yeah, that's kind of red. And then my final color, my final primary color would be blue. And that is where the blue is going to go. Now, I have, there's more blue, more blue, more blue. Wow, I did end up having a lot of blue, didn't I? Oh, there's some more blue. Isn't that something? Okay, so now I'm going to fill in the secondary colors. So let's start between here. So I know that I have yellow and I have red. If I mix them together, what do I get? That's right, I get orange. And we don't have a whole lot of orange. This is kind of a yellow orange, so we'll put that there. Then let's do what's in between yellow and blue. That's right. We'll put the green stuff there. And then, whoop, there's some orange stuff hiding over there. Let's put that here. Then we have our final color of purple. And there is my beautiful color wheel. Isn't that awesome? Okay, boys and girls, now it's your turn. So, what I would like you to do is, after you collect all of your items, then arrange them on the table just like I did, then take a picture of it, and then we can post these on Art Sonia. The project name is going to be Color Wheels, and I can't wait to see them. I just love bright colors, and it's gonna be kind of fun to see what you find with these colors. What do you think, Mr. Brush? I really wish he could talk. Wouldn't that be nice? Oh, wow. Have fun, boys and girls, and I will see you next time in the art room.